<laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Martini Journey in the Martini Lab, somewhere in the North Cumberland, <laughs> at the end of, uh, not the end, but in the north of England. The frozen north. The frozen, the juniper area. <laughs> Tourists call it the juniper area. <laughs> Crazy tourists. So, today I want to show Chris... Oh, first of all, we want to research something I'm curious about, but also I want to show you a drink. I think you know it. It's very famous. It's a kind of a martini became very famous by a gentleman called James Bond. Mm. And there was an author called Mr. Fleming, Ian Fleming. He wrote a book. Okay. And he wrote a book called Casino Royale. And in this Casino Royale, there was the main actor, Mr. James Bond. And he went to the bar and ordered a Vespa martini. But he explained the bartender how he liked to have it. And he told them that he liked two parts of vodka, one part of gin, which is a totally no-go in the classic martini drinkers world because it's like being on a battlefield in Star Wars. You don't know. That's not Star Wars. That's Ghostbusters where you don't cross the, <laughs> uh, the things. The cross I mix that up. So it's a <laughs> Ghostbusters thing. You don't cross the things. Yeah. And then he had, listen, don't take vermouth. Take a Kinyato at this time called Kinya Lili. It doesn't exist anymore, but Lili did, did, used to do a very bitter wine thing called Kinya. Okay. So he said, please add Kinya. And then he said, use a shaker where everybody died and said, please shake it, don't stir it. And then he, I think he said, shake it and put it in a wine glass, not in a martini glass, and add a slice of lemon. So the idea of the author was to do everything opposite <laughs> of from what a classic gin martini drinker would do. And the fun fact is Ian Fleming loved classic gin martinis. Yeah. So I think it was, he just wanted to fuck off he, with people. He just wanted to annoy the bartender. Yeah, and then this drink became famous. And since then, bartenders all over the world try to make it tasty. And you can make it tasty. But, uh, you know, I think the idea was fun. Just, you know, writing a book and just... Yeah. Push it a little bit. So, but also, I would like to know. So, what I brought, I have, and I showed that already in another video. I have my little favorite shaker. I call it the revolver shaker. Okay. Because you can, mm -hmm. it's a one hand thing. You can really go hard, still talk, still have a drink, <laughs> you know, conversation. But, and last time we did nearly to minus four. I think we did minus. I just tell that to you because this is your part of the game. Oh, okay. So we are challenging each other. Right, right, okay, good. So inside here, we do ice. And then I have a very huge shaker, which I highly recommend you to buy. Not specific this one, but these are called martini cans because they are huge. Mm. And there's a thing inside, so this is closed. There's nothing coming out of the uh. mouth, even if it looks like. And uh, the thing is with the cans, it, it's done in all types of animals but also different types. And you can find them on eBay and everywhere. But this was, especially in the like 60s or 50s or 70s in America, when you be a good host and you want to just offer martinis and you want to be a good host, you, you can do like six shaken martinis in it. So you just, you know, you walk around. You, yeah, two, it's two, <laughs> two, one for you, one for me. Yeah. So the idea is we do one drink, but I just use more ice and have a bigger shaker. Okay. We'd like to see how cold we can get and how much dilution we have. Okay. The old game. Let's do it. Let's do it. So a Vespa Martini, first of all, is something where normally more vodka is used. This one is a very special vodka because it's a little bit flavored with the kiss of Douglas fir. Mm. You know, Douglas Fir moved along the bottle, says, hello. The bottle says, oh, who are you? You look so shiny and all this. But also, I prefer my Vespers more gin. So I, I flip it. I do four parts of gin, two parts of Schnuckelhase Tanne. No, Douglas Fir, that's the yeah. English name. And, uh, and then we do a little of the very bitter True Canina from Cap Cors. Okay. Uh, from Corsica, but it's called Cap Cors. So, let's say we go 40 centiliters of a uh, four. I always mix that up. It's 40 milliliters and four. 40 milliliters, 40 Sorry. centiliters is yeah. a big Yeah, four. it's a big, uh, yeah, I made it on zero, yeah. Okay. Two of the vodka. Mm -hmm. 
and two of the Kenya. Uh, two. This, this should, yeah, we go a little bit more whiny. Yeah. Uh, also color wise, you know, we like it's golden eye. We do two uh-huh. two movies in one. <laughs> we do two movies in one. So it's uh, seven six point nine. Seven six point nine. This is number one. I try to hit seven six point nine, but I was a little bit generous in the vodka. I saw that. Maybe I have to. So we do the little Douglas fur again, and then a little of the. It's going to have to be a lot more wine. You think so? Well, you're six grams off. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at this stage. Yeah, I, I did a little bit more vodka. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to. I, I realized that my vodka was. A, you're, whoa, you're yeah, very yeah, precise. Yeah. Oh, so you know yeah. everything. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> scientists. <laughs> so now I need to hit six grams vodka. Ah, not, not enough. I would do a few grams of gin as well. If you can. No, but I, I realized when I made it that I was just on the vodka thing more. But, but you do three grams less gin on the second one. But it's all you tell it me now, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to be a large one. It'll be fine. No, we, I want to have the same, yeah, yeah, the same white. <laughs> That's fine. No, zero point. It's not enough. No, no, because no, 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 we were 76.9. Oh, that's immense. Really. Okay, okay, wait. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. <laughs> a reward. <laughs> a reward for bad work. So <laughs> let's figure out everything out. Here we go. Okay. So now I have to think, and it's sometimes hard because I'm not so clever, but I try my best. So we have the the magic machine. The, magic. the legend. We're gonna wear the ice? Yeah, for sure. Huh? Just to get in, you like all the numbers, and I fuck them up. Yeah, I think it's a good. It's yeah, a, good, it's a serious. How how you should do martinis at home? Mm. One is the nerd. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> I do the recipes. I don't care. But it's always good to do. Always is. It's a great pleasure to do martinis with two people. Yes. Yeah. Then you can have a discussion. I also think you never make the same martini twice. No, that's true. Because no. little tiny differences. Yeah. Little drops. Yeah. I would love to even do, you know, our last video, we did like 120 grams. 143. Okay, we, this is a little bit less, only a little, because I think we get much colder with this than we stirred it. Okay. Oh, wait, Tara. So we had 333. So we're about, about that. Yeah, cool. 300 won? 333. Half an ice cube needed. Bam! Boom. So now, we, we have to be, if I spill something, we are fucked. Right, yeah. I did. That's okay. It's not okay, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck, was a drop of spilling? I think it's uh, five mils. Something like that. <laughs> Christian at the table. Fuck. Fuck. Maybe just spill a little. Oh, no spill. Good. No spill. Good, good, good. Okay, now we close it. Yeah. You know how to deal with it. I'll give it a go. And now we give it like 50, until it's, it must be, our hands must be, you must reach the point that you feel so much pain that you have to stop. You have to stop. Are you ready? So it's a bit of a competition as well. It is. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling? Okay. How are your fingers? Cool. <laughs> I can feel it in my left. It's getting very cold on the top. Oh. My left arm hurts. <laughs> I have some pain. I have fucking pain. Okay, that's getting cold. Three, two, one, stop. Whoa. Yeah. Fuck! Oh. I have to tell you, no, I'll tell you that later because first we want to do science. Yeah, oh. I, oh. Oh. I think maybe we break the scales. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, did we do something? Sorry, interlude. Okay. 
Na, 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 na. Just rebooting. Na, 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 na. Okay, six, five, four, it's counting down. Three, two, one. Martini time. Zero? Yes. Come on. There we and go. now we will also for sure have a little ice chips. Oh, we're not mm. fine straining. No. Looks cold. It's very cold. Ooh, we're over the hundred. Maybe the glass is too small. <laughs> hundred and twenty. Ooh, look at this. It's like ice cream. Hundred twenty seven. Seven. Okay. Ooh. Temperature check. Mm. Minus 3.6. Minus 3.6 degrees Celsius. It's like yesterday. Now so no, there's also one on, I forgot there's one on top. I could have used that. Oh, you're good. But am I colder? <laughs> Hopefully not, but it feels very cold. It shape. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, it's very cold. Less dilution. No? no. Oh, you're getting more. Your glass is too small. How much we get? 127. So 129. 130. But look, it's nearly the same. Yeah. Within within one percent. Within half a percent. Yeah, now I okay. wanna Whoa. No look, there was a change, right? Three point two, it's nearly the same. Mm. That's interesting. With the stirring cup we had differences. Yeah. But this is kind of the same. This looks colder. It does. I also, I have to say, this is maybe a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure it looks colder. Yeah. <laughs> How does it taste? Yeah, that, go for it. Tastes good. Mm. Wow. Go for the other one. Mmm. Well, that's really nice because now the it's it's I mean that's super light, mm. but the Douglas first nicely and with the canine. Mm. Mm. It's colder than it looks. I think maybe you've got more ice chips. shards of ice chips. I yeah. think this one is colder. So mm. I don't know. Here you have a little bit more. It's fun because it's the same liquid, so kind of same dilution. Mm. But I would say here, okay, I adjusted with the, yeah, I, I, I gave it a little bit back, yeah. Mm. But it's not, both are very nice, but the, I mean, this is a really light way to drink martinis. <laughs> I mean, the, you get super hammered because they are so tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You miss, technically, I would say you miss a little bit the, the what punch. we normally like with a martini, the punch. The juniper, but it's not, I mean, this is also just half of juniper. Yeah. But it's tasty like hell. Cheers. Cheers. So normally, what the, the poor bartender who served Mr. James Bond would have done, he had to slice a big 80 wheels of lemon. But we don't do that here because we are sophisticated. We, we fuck about this. But we do a little lemon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But I have to say, the idea of a shaken drink, I like that. It's <laughs> different from a stirred classic martini, very different. But the result, I think it's very dangerous. <laughs> I can see why there have been cocktail parties where, and I also have to tell, this is what I want to tell you. I have, by, by, I knew it, I did it wrong, but I want to compete with you. But what you normally do with these cans, you, you do it only like this, uh, and you look very cool, and you're a host. You no, know, you just do, and, and, you, and you dance Voxtrot, or you do cha cha cha. No. Or whatever, I would do 80s hip hop for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing but the deep thing, baby. But you don't do like. No. But, and then it, I think, and then it's, a, then it's not that, but it's cool. Yeah, so do me a favor, favor of the 
uh, mix yourself a Vespa Martini, do it in a shaker, shake it as hard as you can, and let us know your favorite Vespa Martini recipe under this video. And then we maybe give it another try. 100%. Cheers.